But going back to storylines, Patrick Mahomes, um, I, I, I think I said it pass, in passing earlier. It's like we act like Tom Brady played in another era. You know, where like, well, actually, technically, the first Tom Brady played in another era. That variant, the, the first Tom Brady variant played in another era uh, or played in a different style or system. And you could tell that when you juxtapose his first six year stats with Patrick Mahomes' first six year stats. Having said that, though, this conversation feels very premature um, when it comes to the path to the greatest of all time that Patrick Mahomes is on. And the reason I say it's premature is not because Patrick Mahomes is not on that level in terms of his ability or his or, 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 or his deliverability or his dependability. It's premature because seven is a long way away. Like Brady and Mahomes are making this thing seem so easy. Yeah. So it's like, yo, you know how hard it is for him to, like Patrick Mahomes right now has to double his career and then some to get to seven rings. Now I'm not a rings guy, but after the aforementioned 28 to three, I said that Tom Brady unified the belt. I remember I, I said he unified the belt because I was one of those people who for the longest time, I matter of fact, I, I, I'll go so far as to say I started it. I'll go so far as to say I was the first person to say it. That Brady was the greatest quarterback, but the greatest performer at the position was Aaron Rodgers. Okay. After 28 to three, I stopped saying that shit because there was no distinguishing and there was no distinction between Brady's results and his play. And I thought that did a disservice to Brady to act as though right. he just was like fortunate to be winning all these games. When you actually watch Brady, nobody played the position better than Tom Brady. Aaron Rodgers may have a stronger arm than Tom Brady, not by much. Aaron Rodgers at his peak may have been more mobile or may, may still be more mobile than Tom Brady. Certainly Patrick Mahomes is, but nobody played the position better than Tom Brady. So it would take a lot, not just eight rings, not just seven rings, even though one of them came at Mahomes' expense, not just seven rings. It would take a lot for me to ever put Mahomes or anybody else unseen or unborn at this point ahead of Tom Brady because Brady checked every single box. Every single box that you need from a quarterback, Brady checked it, okay? There was no, I mean, he, he, he wasn't mobile. He wasn't, he wasn't a runner. But he's other doing than, it too, Other than not he? being a runner, other than not being a Except runner, well, no, Mahomes is. I guess the only thing But I'm saying he has a long way to go. Longevity. longevity. He, had, longevity. He, he has a long way to go. He's the only box he hasn't like, checked. So, so, that, so that's why I say he's LeBron to, to, to Brady's Jordan. People have compared Mahomes to Jordan. I don't think he's, I don't think, I don't think he's Jordan. I think he's more LeBron. Here's what I mean by that. Jordan to me, I said, I said he's the goat and he's and, and now I said it. most people. He's most people's goat. He's my goat. I'm not giving it to anybody else. I told you like LeBron for me. I didn't care if he won six or seven rings. Now he's the all time leading scorer. I, I said I'm not putting LeBron ahead of Michael Jordan. Now, by the way, sidebar, I'm sure there are plenty of people that right now could poke holes in what I'm saying even before I finish my point and say, well, wait a second. Why are we talking about Kareem? Why are we talking about Magic? Why are we talking about Kobe? Why are we talking about Steph? Stop. That's not the point of this. That. That's not the point of this. No, no, no. Just not stay with that. me here. Just Stop. stay with me. I'm not, it's yeah. not a, this is an yeah. analogy. This is not a basketball not, great yeah, conversation. Right, right. We're not doing I'm it. simply doing saying it. that from the day he came out of St. Vincent, St. Mary, it was Michael Jordan, LeBron James was on this trajectory to being the greatest of all time. For people yeah. like me, he was never and has never reached Michael Jordan status. But I said for others, if you wanted to say LeBron James was the greatest, I said this a while back, going back to your T-shirt, Stevie Wonder yeah. and Prince, Stevie if you Wonder wanted to say that LeBron yeah. James the greatest, I was not going to shout you down. Just as I prefer Prince, Michael prefers Stevie Wonder. But I don't know a bigger Prince fan than Michael, than Michael Holly. Stevie Wonder hung the moon and the stars, as far as I'm concerned, okay? So there's that. Stay with me here. I could see a world in which Patrick Mahomes wins four or five, maybe even six, falls short of seven, 
and there is still a case to be made for some that he is the GOAT. Some will, like, that's, that's, to me, that's the trajectory that he's on. He's not, it will, I don't anticipate him catching Tom Brady. Just because what Tom Brady did is so remarkably impossible until I don't know that Patrick Mahomes can double his career. And then some. That's just that, because the bar is that high. Just for similar reasons, LeBron James probably was never going to reach Michael Jordan's status in people like my eyes because we weren't going to let him do it. You follow what I'm saying, Michael? So I'm, I feel yeah, like, yeah, a, I do. like Patrick Mahomes yeah. is on track to, to, to not only approach Tom Brady in the, in the GOAT conversation, but he is on track to just make the conversation obsolete. Does that make yeah, sense? And, and yeah, and, and, and I, I agree with you. And the thing is, I like the way you said track. He's on track. And let's just stay with that. It's the path. So if everybody, it's almost like you are, you're an explorer and you're from a different time and you want to go back to 2001 when Tom Brady made his uh, first Super Bowl appearance and won it. And so you're in this time, you're saying, okay, what did he do? Okay, they won in 2001. Let's see if we can do that. So yeah, like if you go back in time, Tom Brady in 2001, they win this, the Patriots win the uh, Super Bowl. And they win it again in 2003 and they win it again in 2004. So if you're in a different time to take, we want to do what they did. So they won it in three and four years. We won it in three and five years. They're doing exactly the same things. Tom, like Patrick Mahomes is on the path. He's on the path and he's, he's right on target. Unlike anybody sure. I've on seen pace. since <laughs> on pace, yeah. but yeah. okay. There are some, they, something different has to happen and you don't know what that's going to be. It's like the Patriots were in Super Bowls that Tom Brady lost. Yeah. So it's not it like a huge hey, gap. Mahomes, uh, he's going to come back. Yeah, they had a 10 year gap. They had a 10 year gap yeah. between 04 and then they won it in 04 and they won it again in 2014 and right. crazy things happened. They, they nearly went undefeated one year and lost the Super Bowl. And, and four years later, they're the they're the better team. Right. They lose again right. in 2011. Right. You know they lose a conference championship game when they're at home. Right. And, you know Tom, right. Tom Brady was a unanimous MVP. They were and then 14 and ACL. two. They lose a pl- they lose in the division oh, no, I'm round. Sorry. Yeah, no, but a, but after the so, after the 18 and one season, he tears his ACL, missed the season. Like it, exactly. The point so, is, we take lot. this thing for You're granted. Right. We take this for granted. A it's lot so hard. Has to happen. It's hard. It's difficult. And it's hard. A lot's got to go your way. A lot's like a lot. A lot of a lot of uh, moves need to be made. A lot of other teams need to continue to fall short. Like we talk about Mahomes as Thanos and being inevitable, but it's like nah, man. Like Joe Burrow ain't just conceding the AFC. You know, Josh Allen, like we could talk all we want about how Josh Allen can't do this and Lamar Jackson can't do this. I prefer to say they haven't done this to say that they Ooh. can't. Nice. I think it's premature. Nice. I think it's premature. So it's like right. you this there's still a loaded AFC and the rest of the NFL coming for these dudes. That's what makes this so impressive and so great. That's why it took 20 years because it wasn't that long ago when the Chiefs had a chance to repeat and Tom Brady denied him. It took 20 years for somebody to go back to back. This shit is hard. And to, to, and to talk about Patrick Mahomes within the context of he's on track to, 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 to catch Brady, that track is long. This ain't the 100-meter dash. This is the 1600. This is the marathon, yeah. not a sprint. Yeah. This is going to take a long time and a lot of good fortune for him to catch Brady in terms of accolades and accomplishments. But, but because I'm not a rings person, I will allow for the fact that that's not necessary for him to be the GOAT. I I don't think you can in good conscience proclaim Patrick Mahomes as the greatest now. You could put him in your top five. You put him in top three, that's fine. But I don't think you can say he's the greatest now because as I mentioned, Brady checks all the boxes beyond just rings. It's not a rings thing. This is a performance production and results thing. But it, there, there's going to come a point whether he gets to seven or not, where people can make a legitimate argument for Patrick Mahomes to be the greatest. 
Yeah, yeah it'll, it'll be sooner rather than later. He's getting closer and yeah, closer. It's getting, it'll be sooner rather than it's later. Getting, it's getting very, it's getting very close to having that conversation. Um, but I, I will say, and I, I, I think we got to point out, we put that chart back up where it's the first six years of their careers, you know, Patrick Mahomes versus Tom Brady, and it's three rings apiece and zero yeah. MVPs. That's the key stat. Zero MVPs. Right. right. He, he wasn't playing like that. He wasn't playing like that. Right. He, was, he, was, he so wasn't that different. guy. Right. Yeah. And so that's this what I, is that's where, what I was referencing. Different era, different style of play, different scheme. Where, yeah. This is where Mahomes has an advantage. Mahomes has an advantage in that he's all, now now he's playing like the way he's playing now is the way the way he's playing now in Brady the Super played. Bowl is the way it's that the way Brady, Tom played, Brady early. played in the beginning yes. of his career. Correct. Correct. And and the way uh, Mahomes played at the beginning of his career is the way Brady played at the Brady end. Brady played career. at the end. Yes. Yes. And, you know, my, my I man talked about five that a couple of five in a I think we talked about Super Bowl yeah, we talked about that. Right. It, right. Yeah. Lose the Super That's Bowl. The you, you throw 500 plus yards. So so here, here's here's the Magic Johnson aspect of it. Here's the Magic because 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 if Brady's Jordan, he didn't go six for six or seven for seven as it were. Brady lost three, and all three of them could have gone the other way just as easy as his first three could have gone the other way. Or, I mean, yeah, hell, right. the ones he won. I mean, he came back from yeah. down 10 against Seattle, which at the time was the greatest comeback until he won up himself down 28 to 3. So, I'm saying, like, this, he's in that rare, Mahomes is in that rare air. But, like, let's not be such, per, and, this, and I, I look, I might, be, might as well be the warden in the jail for prisoners of the moment, okay? Like, I'm big on, you always got to stop me from being a prisoner of the moment on this here program. Right. I'm saying let's not be such prisoners of the moment that we forget about a guy uh, and, and his greatness that, and not to say anybody's forgetting about it, I'm probably exaggerating, but like Brady just left. Like, Mahomes got a long way to go, a long way to go before and, he's approaching GOAT status. And he may not get and there. Here's the That's other the thing. reality of the situation. Here's the other thing. You know, he's got a long way to go in football. You know what? Uh, you know what's hard? You know, winning a Super Bowl is hard. So is a plan to your 45 or oh, the marriage. Yeah. Marriage is hard. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. in the in the if you want to follow, you're the explorer and you're the historian. You're following what the Patriots did. Well, when it got to be around year 16, year 17 of that marriage, and I'm talking about Belichick and Brady. Oh, there was some friction there. They weren't sleeping mm -hmm. in the same bedroom anymore. Oh, that matter. As a matter okay. of fact, they weren't staying in the I'm same about house <laughs> right, anymore. Right. No, no, yeah. I'm talking about like Brady Belichick. And so we're like, oh, this is great. You got Reed and Mahomes just like Brady Belichick. Well, Brady Belichick, they ran into, yeah. in, into some friction and they couldn't stand sure. each other after a while. So but do do they avoid that? Do they avoid the e what do they, egos? What, what, what but does Andy even stay? But first of all, I thought you meant his actual thing. marriage. I thought you meant his actual marriage, yeah. which is also a thing. That's also a thing. I'm not wishing any any right. any any struggles, but like that's life. Life be life in. But a, and Andy's coming back. He's coming back for next year. How long does Andy continue to coach, as he continues to climb the ladder of greatest coaches of Who all time with, himself? Yeah. How do you he, deal he's with in that? that club? How long? How do yep. they reinvent themselves? How long does Travis Kelsey keep playing? Because the Brady. The Patriots, like, I, maybe the better NBA, NBA comp for Brady is Tim Duncan. When you talk about longevity, you talk about how they continue to reinvent around Tom Brady. So Brady not only played different styles, but did it with different coordinators. Different, uh, different did it with different supporting too, different, cast. Exactly. Yep. Different supporting so cast. So Tim Duncan. Different eras. Yeah. All of that. Like, so do the, are the Chiefs capable of reinventing themselves? So far, so good, because we just talked about it. This team was more of a smash mouth physical defense, you know, running, running football team. But what happens when Travis Kelsey decides to be Mr. Taylor Swift and a full time podcaster? Like what happens when he does leave? Like, what does it look like then? You know, I, I, I think Brett Veach is a fantastic uh, general manager. The Hunt family has been a, a great ownership group. We'll see how long Andy Reid stays around. We'll see who his successor is and how that works out. Because like, you know, the cow, the 49ers, I was about to say the Cowboys, but not so much. That was Landry. The 49ers are kind of the, bl the blueprint in that regard. The 49er way, as they were able to go from Walsh to Seifert, they had some hiccups, 
But for the most part, they were able to maintain this consistent competitiveness, uh, you know, through different coaches. You know, Mariucci came and kind of, right. right. you know, brought, brought it back to prominence and that's hard. or what have you. That's hard to do. I mean, they didn't win Super Bowls really throughout difficult. that whole time. But nonetheless, it's like, we never, we, we haven't seen the Patriots. We saw them post Brady. We haven't seen him post Belichick. We didn't have to see a Brady without a Belichick in New England. We saw what he did with Bowles in Tampa. You know, we have not seen a Mahomes absent an Andy Reid. Not saying he can't overcome that. Not saying he can't overcome Travis Kelsey walking away winning if he does. It's just that we haven't seen it yet. Um, yeah, I mean, cool. I, I, it's really great. I mean, you think about, um, I was going to say egos. Egos will bring you down to whether it's your favorite football team or favorite musical group. Usually that's what gets in the way. Everything is going yeah. well. Everything is going smoothly. Somebody wants a different role. Somebody wants more money. Somebody is just tired of, you know, yeah. it's like the Scotty Pippen, the Scotty Pippen disease uh, as well. You know, listen, hey, why am I always, why am I, why, why am I always on the other side of the ampersand? It's, it's Mahomes and, well, why isn't it me and Mahomes? Just because, fool. <laughs> okay, that's not what you're supposed to be. And then everybody doesn't deal well with I, that. That might, the, that might have been Duncan Chris Jones' his last game. We just talked about how great Chris Jones, that might have been his last game as a Kansas City Chief. Yeah, he said, bring me back. For he said last night, bring me back. And um, yeah, they should bring him back. But that Duncan they thing. They should, but will they? Yeah. Duncan, Duncan com comes in with David Robinson. He raises up Ginobili and Parker. And then at the end, he raises up Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Okay. That, whoa. That's like, that's like a little slice of NBA history right there. And that's what it takes. Yeah. If Patrick Mahomes yeah. is going to get there and get to six or seven or eight, He's going to be a, a, a one man historian himself. Yeah, I remember playing with with these. I remember playing with Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey. Right. And now right. maybe it's is it Rasheed Rock Rice Bowers. or no or Rasheed <laughs> Rice and else. Noah Gray or somebody. Yeah. Hey, thank you for watching brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM channel 85.